Title IX is federal legislation that prohibits sex discrimination in educational programs and settings. This video provides an overview of topics related to Title IX at Brown University. Each instance of sexual and gender-based harassment and violence ripples outward, ultimately impacting the Brown community as a whole. Effects vary depending on the experiences, identities, and social status of those involved. We understand that each individual's experience is unique, and we are aware that acts of harm and discrimination do not occur in a vacuum and gain meaning from a variety of intersecting social and cultural values. We use this knowledge not to make assumptions based on people's identities or experiences, but to implement a response to harm and discrimination that is nuanced and varied. The responsibility to respond to discrimination is shared, as is a community standard that prioritizes respect, equity, and safety. Your rights at Brown, under Title IX, entitle you to an educational and professional experience free of sex discrimination. You have the right to speak with a confidential resource. You have the right to report to law enforcement whether or not you are involved in the university process. You have the right to know, understand, and submit a complaint under Brown's sexual and gender-based harassment policy and complaint process. You have a right to have that complaint investigated and resolved in a manner that is prompt and equitable. You have the right to be accompanied by an advisor through all stages of the investigation and resolution process. You have the right to access off-campus resources, such as local police, rape crisis centers, and domestic violence shelters. You can access university resources at any point, regardless of when an incident occurred. You are entitled to these rights regardless of whether you file an official complaint with the university process. Whether you're a student, staff, or faculty member, it's important to understand your options if you've experienced sexual or gender-based harassment, sexual assault or exploitation, relationship and interpersonal violence, stalking, or retaliation on campus. You should be aware that every individual faculty or staff member falls into one of three different employee designations, confidential, responsible, and all other employees. Keep these designations in mind if you plan to share details of an incident involving sexual or gender-based harassment or violence with someone at Brown. This may influence who you talk to and where you turn for help. Our goal is to help you make an informed choice. Confidential employees are designated professionals who cannot reveal identifying information shared by an individual to any other person without express permission of the individual or is otherwise permitted or required by law. Confidential employees include those in the chaplain's office, medical providers and university health services, counseling and psychological services, and sexual harassment resources and education. Staff in these offices are not required to report any information to the Title IX office. Responsible employees are those in leadership or supervisory positions, or who have significant responsibility for the welfare of students or employees. This includes faculty and staff serving as advisors, and students serving in leadership positions. Responsible employees must share the relevant facts of the alleged harassment or misconduct. This can include the names of any individuals involved in the incident, relevant dates, times, and locations. Responsible employees connect students who have been impacted by sexual and gender-based violence and harassment with a list of reporting and resource options to help them make choices about how to move forward. All other employees are encouraged to share information with the Title IX program officer. This information helps the university identify and respond to systemic patterns and trends with the goal of making the campus a safer and more inclusive environment. In addition to individual employees, these campus resources have specific designations and work together to implement accommodations and support at any point during an incident. The following offices provide support. They are not confidential, but only share information on a need-to-know basis. The Office of Student Life and Student Support Services, Department of Public Safety, the LGBTQ Center, the Brown Center for Students of Color, the Sarah Doyle Women's Center, and the Title IX office. The following offices provide support and are required to keep your information confidential. The Chaplain's Office, Medical Providers in University Health Services, Counseling and Psychological Services, and Sexual Harassment Resources and Education.
You can share information with the Title IX office through email, over the phone, or in person. Once information has reached the office, the Title IX program officer will contact the person who has experienced the incident to inform them of their options and available resources. The office will also do an assessment of community safety. Individuals involved do not have to move forward with a complaint process just because the Title IX office reaches out to them. However, if the Title IX office determines that there is substantial threat to community safety, the university may engage in the complaint process on their behalf. Brown will take appropriate measures to protect and support an individual involved in a reported incident, regardless of whether they choose to file a complaint. Safety and remedial measures may include counseling and emotional support, no contact and communication directives, academic accommodations, and other remedies as reasonable and appropriate. Both Title IX and Brown's policy prohibit retaliation in order to protect your right to make a report. Retaliation includes threatening, intimidating, harassing, or any other conduct that would discourage a reasonable person from engaging in activity protected under this policy, such as seeking services, receiving protective measures and accommodations, and or reporting prohibited conduct. Retaliation includes maliciously and purposefully interfering with, threatening, or damaging the academic and or professional career of another individual before, during, or after the investigation and resolution of a report of prohibited conduct under this policy. Look for more detailed information about the office, processes, and resources on the Title IX website.